In the last video, I gave you a task to write a method, say goodbye, and you should basically give a greeting that we're saying goodbye to whoever is calling that method. I'm going to create that method now, so you can see if you did it correctly. Public state void, say goodbye. route s u i'm gonna do that again so you can see it so s u o sorry s o u t tap auto completion so bye see you again soon i'm gonna run the program one more time we will see that we get that as the output as the very last instruction is doing printing goodbye see you again soon to a screen so this is the solution for the task i gave you and if you've been adventurous you probably did create several other methods and i'm really happy if you did so so today's video we're going to talk about how to give a method some input. So this will be a short video. The input we're going to give is, as I talked about before, we're going to create a coffee machine. So let's go ahead and write a new method. But before we're going to do that, we're just going to delete the three calls here to the other methods. And let's assume that what we're going to do is call coffee machine just like that and we're going to give it something called coffee powder comma water this is what we should be able to do uh, let's go ahead and create this method then so public static and we talked about the return statement or the return of the method was void basically meaning nothing in this occasion it's gonna give us something back and today let's just write a string and then we're gonna create two parentheses and now we're getting a lot of red lines first of all we forgot to write a name so let's do coffee machine let's first fix the two inputs we're gonna give it the input of coffee powder and the input of water as we talked about this in i think it's the first video text is encapsulated in double quotations and you might have guessed it already if i output something called a string that might be text so we're gonna write the word string we're gonna call it ingredients one and string ingredient two now we did that you see that it stopped having red lines which basically means that we removed an error the green lines you're gonna ignore that is nothing at all for you to worry about so now we have one red line left can you spot it it is the one here down below it's basically saying if you hold the mouse it was a missing return statement missing return statement means as we talked about before the third word means we need to return something as the cough machine mix the ingredients so what we could do here is saying making coffee using and now we're going to do something called a concatenation a concatenation is basically saying take this word and that word and you slap a, slap, a, slap a piece of tape on it and they are now concatenated 
we're going to plus that ingredient one. I'm going to plus again. Type and and plus one more time. Take a minute and watch this. We have text. We concatenate this. We concatenate this, and we concatenate that. We still have a red line, basically because we haven't returned anything yet. So what we return, we can write the word return. All right, hot, warm, coffee. And as you can see, we have no more red lines. When we run this program, you will see below that it says making coffee using coffee powder and water. But what about this? It didn't say that. Now, this is another part of return values versus what you print. Now, when you return something, it basically means it's coming out of the coffee machine. Now, you probably think about this like, hmm, so if you have this method here called coffee machine, it's coming out of that and I'm kind of, you know, marked all the method, you know, even the, the curly braces. Where is the output then? Is it behind it here in some way? Well, you could say that. So since you, since you know that it's returning something called a string, you can actually print it out to the screen. So basically you can, when you have this here, system print line, you could place this inside of that. But you have one red line again. It is behind it. It's basically because it's, it, it kind of says it's expected a parenthesis, and that is true. And you have this unexpected token, and a token in this manner is the uh, semicolon, you have one semicolon too much because the whole sentence only needs one semicolon. You need to delete that one here. And now when you run this, let me just create some spaces and that is just for the uh, view of it. So this is being run first because it's inside, it's the mo most inside. Think about math now. When you went to math class, when you encapsulated something inside parentheses, the, the innermost is being uh, evaluated the first okay so this is being evaluated this is being run we print out this and that has been printed it will return that in layman terms it basically means that all of this is being replaced by that basically that is what this means let's let's just just run the code now and you see that we are printing the statement and we are also printing hot, warm coffee now because we system out print line, whatever the coffee machine gives back as output, return output string type. The type of the output that we return as the output is a string. All right, so I wanna give you a task to play around with this for now a, a bit. And the next video, we're gonna upgrade a bit. Take care.